Mm. <laughs> oh, they put nothing in it. It's like baby food. I'm sorry, Joe. Joe, you're gonna have to try harder. You barely even tried. <laughs> Why would they even do this? Why would they do this? Hey friends, hey fam, what's poppin'? I hope you guys are doing so super well today, as well as you can be, of course, during these wild and crazy times. I hope you are staying hydrated and checking in with your friends, your family, your heart, and your mind above all things. My name is Janae, and I typically post home decor and lifestyle videos right here on the tube, and today, we doing none of that. We doing none of that. Because we're about to do a fall haul of all the Trader Joe's goodies that they have in this season. You know, can't say we are the most jazzed. By we, I mean Shelby and myself. Because it's a lot of food. It's a lot of food. We went to Trader Joe's today and y'all, we went a little bit crazy. There's literally a little bit of everything. You guys. We are excited to um, try these things. That's a lie. Okay, tell us the truth. That's a lie. We did this last year and my stomach hurt. My stomach hurt. That means we really love you guys. That's true. All right, we're just gonna dig in. I think we're gonna start with the warm things. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. It's a turkey pot pie and I was telling Janae, I used to smash Marie Claire personal oh, chicken pot Marie pies. Marie Calendar. Calendar. Marie Calendar, after school. Jeez. Ooh, it has a nice flaky crust on top. This looks like that processed turkey. Yep. Mmm. There's even stuffing on top, I think. I don't hate it. Neither do I. There's something interesting that I can't figure out. Maybe a seven. Solid seven out of ten. Bam, 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 bam. bam. Oh, we're off to an amazing start. Very posy vibes over here. Posy vibes. Stuffing? Er? Oh, yeah, stuffing. Just right in our face. So, they had. Ugh. Ooh. They had two stuffings there, a regular one, and we got the cornbread one that you make on your own. Yeah. But it was pretty easy, yeah? It was very easy to make. I mean, it tastes like stuffing. I definitely don't taste cornbread. So they are lying to people in the store. I want you to know. Th there's no cornbread in this. I would give it a fix. <laughs> fix. But I would give it a six. <laughs> I was thinking six as well. We got some empanadas, empanadas. Okay, I like empanadas, love empanadas. But these are pumpkin. It's gonna be like pumpkin pie. This is pumpkin pie. <laughs> they literally could have called this a hand pie. How dare you make this an empanada? <laughs> I mean, if you like pumpkin, I think you'll probably like this because it really does taste like pumpkin pie. Bye. Five for her, she's the anti-pumpkin, so I know why she up in this video. <laughs> you acting like you miss Queen Pumpkin. I don't Get like the my face. I don't like the look of pumpkins, but I can handle the flavor. I'm just not pressed. Okay, I would give it for the pumpkin fans. I I I'd give it a seven. Boom, boom, boom. I want you in my room. Uh, da, 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 together. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> okay. Oh, y'all, you gotta see these. It's a no. This, this looks like sweet potato out the can. We, we followed the instructions. We did follow the instructions. It's baked sweet potato with candied pecans on top. Mm. <laughs> oh, they put nothing in it. <laughs> it's like baby food. I'm sorry, Joe. Joe, you gonna have to try harder. This is a one. You <laughs> barely even tried. <laughs> I think we need to get the worst thing out of the way. <laughs> Hoping you forget about it. Hold on, are you guys ready for this? Are you guys ready? <laughs> we cooked it, okay? We followed the directions. It's a microwavable dish. <laughs> Comment down below what you think this is. Okay, because it's not gonna be what you think it is. Oh, I smell the fake maple. It's a protein maple muffin. Oh, it's not the texture of a muffin. <laughs> We're in mush mash. Uh, that's protein mashed potato. <laughs> Why would they even do this? Why would they do this? And fix the instructions. <laughs> I did what it said. <laughs> Time to try a pumpkin bisque. 
Shelby's favorite shit. You guys, there's no mixins. I don't want to be disrespectful to people who like pumpkin bits. It's not good. I, I don't <laughs> like it and I don't like the texture. I'll give this a one and I'm being generous. As someone who isn't repulsed by pumpkin, there was a little flavor. Where's the flavor? <laughs> Where's the flavor? Uh, what is it? <laughs> no, can you read it now? No, I feel like it's probably a four. Butternut it's squash. Mac and cheese. Okay, so we're not even starting with pumpkin. Butternut squash already has a one-up. Mmm, cheesy. Mm. Very thick. <laughs> she thick. Th 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 thick. Four. Four. It I, does have a kick. It I does have some heat. It's in the back of my throat. There's a little heat. I think, yeah, I think this probably has potential for a lot of people to love it. I would give it a six because it would be filling... Is that a reason to give something a good grade? Hey, you'll get full. <laughs> I want you guys to take a look. I think it's a pumpkin chili. Oh, man. <laughs> Actually, that's not as bad as I thought it was gonna be. It definitely is flavorful. I do, it's a little kick in it. It's a little kick. It definitely tastes like chili. Um, I think it's meatless. I'm pretty sure this is a veggie chili, so all you vegans and veggins, get up on it. You know what? It's chunky. I got a five. Five's pretty good for you. I would also give it a five. I think this is very filling. Okay. It's like a turkey, like Thanksgiving quesadilla. Oh, it is a turkey harvest quesadilla. Yeah. And when I was making it, there were some um, cranberries popping out of it. So why do we do these things? I don't, know why we I don't think we should be putting uh, these things in a tortilla. Mm -hmm. Wow, flavor's going on. <laughs> a lot of flavors. Yeah, it's not a bad flavor, it's just, I don't want this in this. No one asked for this. <laughs> no, one, no one sought this out. Uh, I give it a three. I give it a three. Okay, here we go again. Putting things in where they shouldn't be. Trader Joe's putting turkey oh. and pumpkin mole. Again, why do we have to put pumpkin in it? I'm just concerned about it. Ooh, it's hot. <laughs> Ooh, yummies. Again, it's out of place. While the second bite is better than the first, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. it still is not necessary to make this. I'd give it a four. Maybe a two. <laughs> I'm gonna give it a three. You want to jump from four? <laughs> She's not a four to two, what about three? I'll give it a three. I, there is a kick. It actually isn't that bad. I might give it a six. I should go from a four to a two to a six. <laughs> Honestly, I think there's just so many weird flavors happening. Well, I think I'm gonna have to boost up to a four. <laughs> Okay, we're really no. So <laughs> let me know if you've seen that TikTok. You know what I'm saying? It's a sticky bun, cinnamon bun, but it's with pumpkin flavors. How can you go wrong with that? It's literally sugar. I mean, even and bread. I'm okay with this one. All right, cheers. cheers. Yeah, literally just sugar. <laughs> no, I like that. We ain't mad. Mm. I could eat this entire thing, but I know we have so many other things to eat. But I would eat this right now and let you watch. Cause I know what you like. <laughs> Check my OnlyFans. I'll be in sticky buns all night. <laughs> it's good. It's I, really good. I would give that a nine out of ten. Eight. Buy it. It's just a pumpkin loaf bread. Here we go. Cheers. Mmm. Mmm. The crust. Oh hell yeah. I give that probably a seven. I was gonna say seven too. But yeah. No, this is pumpkin ravioli. Pumpkin ravioli. It's, it's very huge. Easy, very easy to make. <laughs> I don't think it's meant to be eaten like this. Well, it's not meant to be eaten like this, obviously. We're eating cooked ravioli dry on fucking nothing in it. I mean, there's just nothing in it. There's no butter, there's no moisture. <laughs> this this might be on ravioli. us. This might be on us. Oh, four. This is an apple streusel. They call it a slab. <laughs> wow! Oh boy. Now that's better than some, some apple pies on it. The apples are so thinly sliced. Oh my gosh. That you're getting like multiple apple bites. It's not apple chunk. Oh dang! Hey. All right! Joe, you out did yourself, buddy. Come on over and get you a treat. Very With good. vanilla ice cream? Oh, well, vanilla ice cream, this would be game over. I would give this, honestly, 
9.5. You buy anything this season, uh, I think it'd be Yeah, bad. please buy this. This is the Howling Gourds Pumpkin Ale. It's not too, too heavy. I'd sip on it. I'd sip on it. I'd give that probably a solid seven. I'd give it a seven too. Yeah. There's lots of breads. I think we first, we've got a pumpkin brioche. Let's take a bite at the same time. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> Look at it, she did. <laughs> oh, how will we rate the brioche? I think a seven. For what it is, like I, you only get brioche for special things anyway, so I feel like for what yeah. it is. This no. would be good for French toast, literally nothing else. So if you're making French toast, this is a seven. What if is you're just trying to make a Sammy, it's a no. This is just pumpkin bagel with butter. This is literally a, um, it's a, it's a grocery store. Thomas, it is a Thomas bagel. What would you give it? Five. Streusel. It's kind of dry. It's really dry. The I flavor is good. The flavor is good. I think it's really dry. It's really dry. I'd give the, Streusel bread this year, unfortunately, is six. And I think I'd give it a four this year because the texture is so dry. Turkey harvest has sweet potatoes, turkey breast, Brussels sprouts. Ugh! Raw Brussels sprouts? I love Brussels sprouts. Cooked, though. Kale, spinach, cranberries with an apple cider vinaigrette. Um, it's mm, no. nothing. I hate it. <laughs> We really, we eat, now we F with some Trader Joe's salads. We love Trader Joe's We salads. buy pretty much majority of them. I don't really like it. You don't like it? No, it's a three for me. Yeah, it's a three. Oof. Oh, it's a Waldorf, Waldorf. salad. Oh, it's better than that It's one. better than the turkey one, but it's not doing it for me. The chicken does taste like fake chicken. Because the greens in this look nice and robust. Robust. It has good flavor. It's sweet. It's definitely a sweet salad, but I think that's how all Waldorf salads are. Yeah. All right, we'll start with JoJo's. These are Trader Joe's version of Oreos, but they are pumpkin. Hold up, there's some missing from the box. Joe done lost his Look whole mind. There are two cookies missing. <sighs> Cheers. This tastes like not good. It's more chem. It's probably the most it chemical. Tastes like chemicals. This was the most. The cookie on the outside is not bad. I think it's the cream. We have to be positive for the second half because we've been so negative. We have to be nicer or something. <laughs> I don't know. Well, my honest opinion, but I'm only nice. That's some southern shit. But we can't watch 20 minutes of anger. We can't help ourselves. These. I remember these from last year. They're like those circus cookies. You know those like animal circus cookies where they're like dipped in yogurt or something. Mmm, good crunch. You're pretty good. Mm -hmm. I'll give that a, um, a six. seven. Six, seven. Are you guys ready for Janae's favorite thing in the whole world? What? Ugh. Maple leaf. Because right. Can you tell people why you don't like maple? I like maple syrup. But maple flavored things, there is something misaligned. Something, the maple is missed. All I taste is chemical factory. It's nice because the cookie isn't sweet. Yeah, the cookie's not sweet at all. The only sweet thing is the cream. It's actually not too maple-y. Oh, yes. I give those like a seven. You got cream on your face. <laughs> Just wipe it off. These are apple cider cookies. These, mm, I'm excited. Mmm, smells like apple oatmeal. Crunchy. I like it. I don't like it. I don't like it. All right, this is where we do not see eye to eye. Well, I really like, um. I would recommend these. They're more like a crispy shortbread. I just don't like oatmeal cookies, too. <gasps> I love oatmeal cookies. So yeah, if you don't like oatmeal cookies, stay far away. I would give it an eight. I give it a six. Caramel apple flavored granola. Mmm, mmm. Maybe on yogurt. On yogurt, that would be pretty good. Or if you're the type of person who eats granola as cereal, you might like that. Yeah. I'd probably give it a good seven. I'd give it a seven too. Netty, netty, gang, gang. Pumpkin spice, pumpkin seed. That's a little on the nose, no? It's very pumpkin. It's a pumpkin spice, a pumpkin seed. Hmm. Actually, I would snack on these. Yeah, those are pretty treat. good. Those are pretty good. They don't taste like pumpkin. All right, that's a solid, solid. Because they're like. Sweet and salt. They're not really salty, but they're not too sweet. So I give it an eight. Maybe I would give that a nine. a nine. 
I really like, we liked it. Yeah. Maple almonds, dry roasted. Almonds are already not a superior snack. I find them to be quite inferior. I think we all pretend to like them much like we did pretend to like pretzels. <laughs> no, I don't taste any maple. If you like sweet almonds, then maybe, but I would give it three. I give it a two. Those aren't good. Ugh. <laughs> it's maples and sea salt kettle corn. Mm. I'll say give it like a six. I give it a seven. I would snack on this if it was in the house. Pumpkin tortilla chips. Salty. I taste the pumpkin. Maybe dipped in something would be good. Now Trader Joe's sweet potato tortilla chips are lit. I would recommend those over this. These, uh... All right, a five, that's a five. That's a five. Trying... These are pumpkin cranberry crisp. Mmm, crisp. We love a crunchy cracker. Okay, it's pumpkin cranberry crisp. Pumpkin cranberry crisp. They're for like um, a, a fall themed charcuterie. This is an eight. Yeah, I, I give it, it an eight because it is crisp. Okay. Pumpkin spice batons, delicate roll wafers with. <clears throat> All right, let's try it. I like how crunchy the outside is. What am I supposed to do with this? I like moms get these for like little gatherings. They're, I've seen them at house gatherings. So no one eats these? That probably gets a four or a f oh, I'd give it a five for the outer layer. I'd give it a four for both layers. All right, this is a pumpkin spice protein. I feel Why? like the people who are looking for protein, they can get it from other ways. They don't need a pumpkin. Egg? You know Did you like? taste it? Yeah, but you know what it smells like? What? Beef jerky. I have no choice but to give it a two. I have no choice but to give this a literal one. I think it tastes terrible. So this is pumpkin cheesecake. You actually like cheesecake, don't you? Yes, I do. Okay. You definitely need to defrost a little bit longer. That's on us, that's on us. You know, it's like grocery cheesecake. store cheesecake. This is pretty bland. I feel like it needs something. Flavor. Yeah. There were a lot of things in this video we liked, okay? We don't want you guys thinking this is a channel filled with darkness. We've got the organic Vermont maple syrup bourbon barrel aged. Okay. Oh, so aged in a bourbon barrel. Cool. Is that what bourbon smells like? Oh my God. <laughs> oh my God. Uh, the pumpkin toaster waffles. So maybe we'll taste the waffle dry. Here to serve people. <laughs> no, I didn't know what was happening. Tastes like nothing. And it's not because our taste buds are gone. This literally has no taste. It's like, like the cardboard. Like this bourbon. Does the bourbon help? <laughs> you definitely taste it. A little bite there. You definitely taste the whiskey. It's not bad though. It's not bad. It's adult. I don't know that I put it on these waffles specifically. Waffles. I could give the syrup an eight. I would also give it an eight. I give the waffles a six. I would also give the waffles a six. <laughs> the worst thing we ate, muffin in a cup. This is like that Pinterest cake in a cup, a cake in a mug that never works in the microwave. This is that, but worse. That was pretty bad. Those almonds were nasty. I give the, that, the bisque and the almonds are just, I just, don't, I just don't get it. It's a no. Top three would be maybe the ginger brew. That was really refreshing. Ginger brew. I'd even do uh, the cinnamon buns. Oh, the cinnamon bomb. buns were good. Oh, the turkey pot pie. <gasps> oh, the turkey pot good. pie. We did like that. Okay, you guys, see, there was some positive things. We could be posse girls. Posse girls. So if you made it this far in the video, you are a ride or die loyal. Son of a gun. And we really appreciate you. Let us know down below what's your favorite season. If you made it this far so we know who's a real G. You already know who you are. You know what you is. You the best. You the baddest. And we love you guys so much. We do. Thank you so much for watching this video and we will see you next week. Bye. Bye. Ain't nothing but a bad bitch. Hey, hey, nothing but a bad bitch.